All right, unfortunately it's pretty damp and cold and early this morning, so it's a bit dark, but I'm about to uh, head off and uh, do a bit of metal detecting around an old abandoned gold mine. So uh, I've got a bit of a walk ahead of me, so let's go, all right? Okay, here we are. I'll show you around first. There's the old, the old shaft here. It is a bit uh, dilapidated and collapsed. And I'll tell you what, I won't be going in there because uh, this looks like very unstable country and really dangerous. I notice on the road coming down, lots of landslip rock slides. I've got a hand it to them blokes, they had more guts than I've got because I wouldn't even go in there. Now, apparently this shaft, it goes in, um, I think, a total of about 265 feet. I think it's 185 foot in, then there's an, an 80 foot winds, and then another 113 feet or something. But there's two shafts. There's one further up the mountain. I'll show you, it's about 70 degrees, this hill. Really steep and really dangerous. But I'll show you around first. There's an old battery just over there, the old crusher, I'll go over there. Yeah, first, just, just have a little bit of a look at that. That's the top of the mine, before I go over the old ore crusher. That's the top of the mine, and the rocks are really unstable and overhanging. I'll give you a little bit of a, a look inside, if we can. see down in there. Yeah, it's a, a long way in. And there's a few collapses right here. Some of the poles. Some aren't even holding the roof up, but I wouldn't go in there. Okay, this is the old um, battery, this one. It looks to be only a two stamper, but According to the records, they, they upgraded to a five stamper and then even a ten. Because this was a pretty productive mine. Uh, opened about 1893. And apparently they, um, they got about 60,000 pounds worth of gold out of this. That's money-wise, not pounds in weight, but 60,000 pounds. Which would be a lot of money in today's standard. But, uh, yeah, this is it. Growing up out of it, which is uh, still intact, less the motor. So uh, yeah, a little bit, little bit of history there. Um, we'll just go over a little bit closer to it. The old stampers. <clears throat> I think that's where they used to feed it in. Feed it into the things. Big suckers, aren't they? Yeah, up there. I think they call them the elephant. Elephant stamp stamp mill. Probably because they had a big round foot like an elephant. Yeah. Very interesting. Part of history. Should be preserved or completely left the way it is anyway. They should leave it the way it is. Anybody that comes here, just leave it the way it is. Right, up in the hill there, you can see there's another another shaft right there with a couple of big logs across it. I don't know if that was the second mine because I believe there was two here or whether it's a, uh, another adit from this one, I don't know. Right over here, this appears to be like a, a shaft and it's, I don't know, it looks like it's cut straight out of the rock. Very scary. 
straight down about 35 feet. I'm not even going to get close to it. Down the bottom is really dark black water. Now it could have been used for sluicing because I notice there's a big pipe that comes out of the, the mountain there and uh, I think it used to fill this up from a stream up, up further. But yeah, that's, that's a long way down. You wouldn't want to go down there, you'd never get out of that. Yeah, yeah, I found it. <laughs> That's what I thought. A bit of friggin' old iron. It, uh, I should have put the iron audio on them. I would have heard the grunt. Never mind. It's a find. It's a piece of the old uh, machine over there. Still getting a, a reading here, so I'll keep going. Yeah, you got this one too. Just a bit of tin. <laughs> Flat tin. Never mind. There's something there anyway. <laughs> that one's obvious. That's one of the old, uh, one of the old hammers there, the old uh, cams off that thing over there. Yeah, well that'll give you a pretty good signal. <laughs> Piece of iron. You can hear the you hear the machine grunt. <laughs> Sounds like there's some more there too. Oh, I was just coming up this steep hill and happened to notice the old the old wheelie off that hammer mill. And some other parts as well. Some other big bits. Right there. There's one of the one of the hammers sitting there. There she is. All beat up. And another another shaft there and this big thing here I'm not sure what that is like a big uh, big vat or something bits more of it in there yeah this is a literal treasure trove of all the old historical bits and pieces there's another one here and another shaft down there and surf that one. They go into the right there. You can see why they've been going for this wall here. That one down there. And how far it goes around to the right. And I tell you, I ain't getting in there. Too much loose rock. It's all loose. You can see it's fallen down here at the entrance. It's uh, too dangerous even just to be here. Like this, this ground up above, right above me, is look, I'm looking straight up and there's just trees and logs overhead. And they have more guts than me. Anyway, now get out of here. 
check this diggings out here. I don't know whether that's a big hole down there. I can't really get over to have a look. Nor am I game to. Look at this jagged rock and up that hill. Right up here, look. Right round. It's all hanging over the top of me, so not real nice and not real safe. So uh, I don't dare to go and sort of peek over in there. We'll get too close, okay? Well, nevertheless, very dangerous but very beautiful as well. There's a little stream running through there. I didn't have any luck, apart from finding a lot of iron and bits and pieces. But uh, this place is well worth a look, but I wouldn't go in there. <laughs> Not if you, if you like living. But um, the whole hill, the whole mountain here, about a 70 degree mountain, is just littered with uh, tunnels and shafts, you know, honeycombed the whole mountain. Apparently there was, there was two people started, I and mean, there is a second one I showed you at the top, but there's so much overburden up there, maybe if I come back again I might go up and have a <clears throat> bit of a look up there. But anyway, I'm going to pack up and head back to the car, and have something to eat, and a cuppa, and I uh, hope to go down to the creek and maybe try my hand at a bit of panning, see how we go there, okay? Couple, couple of bits go here. Yeah, got little pieces. Hope you can see them. Not much, but yeah. Hope you got to see those. Ah, there's a few in that one, here in that pan there, uh, you see, yeah, right. yeah, got a few in there, here pieces, yeah, that's better. Yeah, a couple in there. The little ones. Pieces there. 
small around the rim. Very small. A little bit more in there. Yeah, I, uh, I crevice this one here about two days ago. Well, it was two days ago. Right down here, it goes down really deep. Probably about 18 inches deep or more with my crevicing tool. And uh, got about half a gram out of it, that's all. Very fine stuff as well. But, uh, need to find another one like that, that'd be nice. Yeah, that's it. Goes right up in, in there. Yeah, it's a nice little pan there. Yeah, it's good, very fine. But, um, yeah, it's good. I hope there's plenty more of that. Yeah, well, that's it. Had a day of it. And I'm pretty uh, had it. Worn out, done a lot of walking, a lot of digging. A little bit of gold. Had a good day, anyway. So, uh, Glad you could come along. See ya.